If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and attempt the question on your own before moving on. To begin the question, perhaps we can draw a simple picture. So here we have two nearby spheres. We can assume in the beginning that the amount of charge on this sphere is capital Q and the charge on this sphere is zero. But we're then going to remove an amount of charge equal to lowercase q and take it and put it onto this charge. So this charge ends up having that lowercase q charge. And now that they are both charged, there will be an electrostatic force acting between them that obeys Coulomb's law. And in Coulomb's law, we have the Coulomb's constant times the charge on one sphere times the charge on the other sphere, and then divided by the distance between the spheres squared. So essentially what we have here is a force function, and in order to maximize this force function, we need to calculate the derivative. We should keep in mind that the value of k over r squared is a constant. And so if it helps, we can even replace that with a lowercase c just to represent a constant. It also might help before we take the derivative to distribute this cq term. Before we can take the derivative of this equation, we need to identify the variable. Let's recall that c is a constant. Capital Q is also a constant because that was the original amount of charge on the tiny sphere. It is lowercase q that is indeed the variable, so maybe we can highlight that. And it might even help to rearrange these terms so that the lowercase q comes at the end. So now we're ready to take the derivative. We can call the left side f prime. Now recall that a constant in front of a variable has a derivative of just that constant, so cq. And then the next term we have to use a power rule. So we pull the power down and then subtract one from the exponent. So this becomes q to the first. We're now going to set the derivative equal to zero in order to maximize the function. We'll then add two cq to the other side of the equation. We could also divide out the c. And since we're trying to find the ratio of little q to big Q, perhaps we can divide both sides by capital Q. Notice on the left side that will make 1. And then we can divide both sides by 2. And we can see that the ratio of little q to big Q is equal to 1 half. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for additional videos. Also, you are welcome to send in your own question to the email address on the screen.